Hello, we are discussing about gate 1997 ECE paper. Look at the program below. There was a delay program. We are going to find the time required to execute this delay by 8085 if 8085 is using 2 MHz crystal. And it has given some value that is uh, the data required for this program. Call instruction takes 18 cycles, push instruction required 12 cycles, conditional jump takes 10 cycles if the jump is taking place, otherwise it takes 7 cycles. So if the condition is true, then it takes 10 cycles, if the condition is not true for the jump, then it takes 7 cycles. And all other instructions, cycles are totally depending on memory access, number of memory accesses it is going for the while executing the instruction. So, n is nothing but number of accesses to the memory, which is nothing but machine cycles. So, remember that one, the value of n is equal to, the value of n is nothing but machine cycles, number of machine cycles of that corresponding instruction. So, if you know the machine cycles, you can calculate the cycles required. Here, the cycles are nothing but t states. Okay, cycles means t states, number of t states. So, call instruction takes 18 t states, push requires 12 t states, conditional jump takes 10 t states, if the jump is executing, if the jump is taking place, else it takes 7 t states. Cycles means t states, whereas um, number of memory accesses means number of machine cycles. Okay. And remember it has given that one 2 megahertz crystal. So, generally we know that one 8085 pin 1 and 2 are going to be connected with a crystal ok this is 1 and 2 pins which are connected with a crystal and crystal frequency if you know it ok and the actual operating frequency actual operating frequency is crystal frequency divided by 2 internally crystal frequency is divided by 2 in 8085 that will become the operating frequency so if you want to operate at 2 MHz frequency then the crystal frequency must be of 4 MHz. If you want to operate the uh, operating frequency at 1 MHz crystal must be of 2 MHz. Okay. Otherwise if you know crystal frequency you can calculate the operating frequency. Here it has given that one 2 MHz crystal is given. It is not indicated with the frequency it is indicated with crystal. So here we are going with crystal is given as 2, internal it is divided by 2, so operating frequency will become 1 MHz. 1 MHz is operating frequency and T is nothing but 1 by F which is nothing but 1 microsecond is the time required to execute 1 cycle. Time required to execute 1 cycle is 1 microsecond. Since the crystal frequency is given as 2 MHz, that is not the operating frequency, remember it. Okay. Always crystal frequency is divided by 2 internally in the 0085 which is stated as operating frequency. Now we will see number of machine cycles required, number of T states required. So here number of machine cycles is N, number of T states is T. First we will write the information given in the problem that is T states known. Later for those instructions we don't know the machine cycles, Okay, we will write N for them. So, call delay, it has given that one, it takes 18 T states, push takes 12 T states, move immediate, it is not given, NOP, this year only jump on no 0, jump on no 0 takes 10 by 7, 10 by 7 and pop rate it has not given. So, for this one, move immediate A comma 64 H, it is 2 byte instruction, it takes 2 cycles, 2 machine cycles, 2 machine cycles, so T is equal to, you can write it as 3n plus 1. So, 3 into 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Again, NOP is 1 machine cycle it takes and it is 4 T states. DCR is again 1 machine cycle. So, it is taking 4 T states. POP is taking 3 machine cycles. It takes 3 into 3, 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 T states it takes. RET is again. 3 machine cycles, so number of T states required is 10. <coughs> so now we know each and every instruction in the delay loop. Okay, number of T states it required for. Now we are going to calculate the total number of T states required to execute this program. 
in this program if you observe okay this call instruction is executed only once okay and push instruction is executed once and move immediate once and this loop is executed by number of times these three instructions are in a loop okay they are executed by a number of times the contents of a will decide how many number of times the loop is executing and again after coming out of this loop the pop is going to be executed once and ret is executed only once so this is executed by contents of a what are the contents of a that we will know move immediate a comma 64h so a will become 64h that is in terms of decimal it is 100 so this loop is executed by 100 times first you will calculate the loop delay then you will add the other t states to calculate total delay okay so first delay required by the loop is equal to okay this loop is executed by 100 times since a is going to be decrementing the value of a is loaded with 64h 64h means in decimal it is 100 so 100 times it is executing with three instructions in the loop one is nop the other is dcra the other is jump on no zero and if you observe the number of t states required to execute once those three uh, instructions once 4 plus 4 plus 10 so total is 18 1800 cycles it requires but whenever a becomes 0 0 at that time it will come out of loop by that time it takes only 7 t states it is not taking 10 t states so for accuracy what we are going with is total loop delay as 1800 minus 3 t states less because for the last iteration it is taking only 7 so previously we have calculated the last iteration is also taking 10 so instead of that one you are subtracting 3 so this will become 1797 cycles required to execute the loop now the total delay total delay required that is how many number of cycles it requires to execute entire program so that means t call plus that is uh, t states required for the call instruction t states required for the push instruction t states required for the move immediate instruction okay and t loop and next t states for the pop instruction next t states for the ret instruction so t total is equal to call is 18 plus push is 12 move immediate is 7 next loop is 1797 plus pop is 10 ret is 10 so if you check this is t total is equal to around 1854 around 1854 you will get t total is equal to 1854 cycles and each cycle is taking one microsecond time already we have seen this one each cycle is taking one microsecond time so total time required total time required to execute this one is 1854 microseconds that means 1.854 milliseconds this is the right answer for this question thank you